And finally, new rule, Donald Trump must admit that of all his reversals, hypocrisies, and 180s, his condemnation this week of Vicente Fox for using foul language yeah. is the most ridiculous of all. I think it's a disgusting thing that he said. And I could tell you, I would not use that word. Talk about the pot calling the kettle orange. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. But it's political bullshit. She said he's a pussy. They're ripping the shit out of the sea. We can't get a fucking school built in Brooklyn. You're not gonna raise that fucking price, you understand? I'm gonna bomb the shit out of them. Listen, you motherfuckers, we're gonna tax you 25%. Yes, something certainly has changed in American political discourse. Oh, Sure, Dick Cheney once told a senator to go fuck himself, and Joe Biden called Obamacare a big fucking deal. But those comments were off mic, not intended for public consumption and considered gaffes. But when Andrew Dice Trump speaks... <laughs> he... <laughs> he doesn't even try to clean it up. And the voters have decided that not only do they not mind their leader swearing, they kind of like it. They kind of like it when a politician drops the facade and talks the way we all really talk. But just so we all know where this is headed, I would like tonight to show you what a future president is going to look like <laughs> delivering the State of the Union address in the not-too-distant future. <clears throat> United States. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Madam Vice President, fellow citizens, I stand before you tonight to report that the state of our union is fucking awesome. <laughs> now, thanks to the programs we put in place, inflation has been kicked in the taint. <laughs> we are job creating like a motherfucker. <laughs> and our deficit is shrinking like a cock on a cold morning. <laughs> but I know, I know that even though the economy is strengthening, and the stock market is up, too many working families still feel like they're taking it in the ass. <laughs> and that shit needs to stop. <laughs> now, here with us tonight is Bob Guggins from Park Ridge, New Jersey. And his story is America's story. Bob busted his nutsack for 20... <laughs> for 27 years assembling brake pads until the company decided to move to Mexico and Bob was shit-canned and left holding his dick in his hand. <laughs> Which is why if this Congress asks me to raise taxes, I'll say no. And they'll push me and I'll say no. And they'll push again and I will say to them, lick my balls, no new taxes. Also with us tonight is Shirley Fowler, a widowed mother of four who, along with her husband, Bud, worked hard and played by the rules, but Bud was killed in a fertilizer plant explosion <laughs> due to a rollback in workplace regulations. And now Shirley's life is a shit show. <laughs> by day, she labors for minimum wage, wiping down the sneeze guard at Shakey's. And by night, she works the pole at a country music strip club <laughs> called Puss in Boots, giving tug jobs in the parking lot for extra cash. <laughs> Let us make this pledge tonight that in the richest country in the world, no one should have to do a lap dance or suck a dick to make ends meet. <laughs> Now, last year, when Diane and I were campaigning in Ohio, 
I met a sixth grade teacher in Chagrin Falls, and well, she looked like she'd had a hard day. So I gave her a hug and asked her what was wrong. She pointed at her classroom and said to me, Mr. President, these kids don't know shit. <laughs> they deserve an education that doesn't suck balls. We can do better. We also must do better caring for our wounded warriors, like Air Force veteran Jeff Monroe, who lost a leg fighting in Iraq. But instead of bitching about it like a little cunt, <laughs> Jeff worked with Blade Runner technicians and this year ran in the Boston Marathon. <laughs> it is... It is for soldiers like Sergeant Monroe that tonight I am asking this Congress for $100 billion in increased military spending. Let every nation know that if you fuck with the United States, you are fucking with the most balls out, badass, swinging dicks the world has ever seen. And we will not hesitate to skull fuck you, tear your head off, and shit down your neck. My friends, there are those in these uncertain times who say America's best days are behind us. But I say, fuck that! <laughs> fuck that! <laughs> fuck that! <laughs> fuck that! <laughs> Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United Motherfucking States of America.